We're ready? Okay, okay. Where do you want me to look? That is your camera. That is my camera. Or you can look at me too. I'll let you look. You're a lot better looking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Are we back? We are back. Nice. This is Amanda again. Tech Zulu Live here at Blog World New York City, and I am with Mitch Cantor. How are you? Good. How's it going? Great. I love the hat. Thank you very much. I've been wanting to grab it off of your head whenever I see you walking around. I want to kind of <laughs> flip it up off and, and wear it. <gasps> I get to wear the hat. Back. My hair is horrible. Okay, uh, it. it looks better on you. <laughs> it looks better on you than it does on me. So. <laughs> but look, he puts it on the right way. Oh, I love that. Perfect. Oh, flaw, but it's all right. So. I, 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 I just, I'll ignore that part. Okay, good. I thought it was good. So, Mitch Cantor, what do you do? Sure. I am uh, a WordPress developer. Mm -hmm. So, I work as a consultant. I'm based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And I work, with, uh, I work with bloggers who want to just start simple blogs on WordPress. I work with businesses who want to build full websites on the WordPress platform with a blog, without a blog doesn't matter. It, it's just being able to edit their content really easily. Okay. Uh, and then on the enterprise level, I actually work as a contractor with Bridgestone of America. The, America is the tire company. Right. Uh, and I am a, a contractor there doing uh, open source projects for them as well. So. We're in a lot of talk of open source here at Blog World today. Well, Why? Open source is, uh, for, for those of your, your viewers who don't know, open source is when uh, the code base of a particular software package is not only available for uh, download on the internet, but it's one that people can actually take and modify. Uh, and, it, and that's based on whatever licensing issues are, are doing with that as well. But for the most part, you can take the code, you can manipulate it, you can do whatever you want with it. It's your code once you download it and you can do whatever you want with it. That's a really good explanation of open source. Thank you. <laughs> I, I believe a lot in open source. I mean, I run, um, you know, I run Linux as my primary op operating system on my own laptop. Right. Uh, you know, Open uh, Open Office now LibreOffice on on that system is is open source. Uh, and of course, being a WordPress developer, uh, WordPress is definitely uh, one of my favorite open source packages because yeah. uh, it's free not only as in beer but also as in speech. So um, free on all levels. And you know, when, if I wanted to, I could take the the modify the code, modify it, and do whatever I want with it, uh, and make it my own. And and at the end of the day, that gives me ownership. Uh, to not only make what I want to do with it better, uh, but also to contribute back and make it better for myself and other people all at the same time. How long have you been developing in WordPress? I've been developing uh, for me as a designer for about three and a half years. Uh, I've been using WordPress for about eight years, uh, pretty much right since the beginning. Uh, I was still in college. I, I was the editor of the yearbook. I used it to sort of document my exploits and talk about what we were doing. Um, fast forward a few years later, WordPress was gaining in popularity. Uh, I moved to Nashville to uh, take a job there, and uh, that didn't last long, unfortunately. The job market wasn't as nice as I'd hoped. Uh, did what everybody in Nashville has done, wait tables, do all that fun stuff. Built up my portfolio and really realized that my passion was in web design and web development. So I built up a portfolio, got a job with a nonprofit, and then the economy tanked. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of people controlling my destiny. I bought my own domain name, bought my own URL, uh, started really working with WordPress as a platform instead of just as a blog, uh, and just kind of take it from there. So what differentiates WordPress from being a blog to a platform? It's both. Uh, and in all honesty, the, the question that I keep getting while I'm here is, OK, what's the difference between a blog and a website? And the lines between the answer to that are blurring. Yeah. Because a lot of times, if you look at if you're looking for something on Google, you're looking for it on a blog because that's what's relevant. You know, it's people posting relevant information uh, that Google sees as fresh and relevant and having to do with all the other content on the blog. Right. So blogs are going to be higher up in search rankings just from, from default nature. Mm -hmm. uh, but more and more people are starting to realize that, well, you know, I have this blog that's got posts that are coming in and going out and, you know, the content's there, but it's not always there. It's, it's rotating out to the archives and whatever. So they want a place that they can store more permanent information, an about page, a contact page. So so WordPress makes it super easy to transform with a few clicks from a blog where your blog posts are on the front page to where your blog is a sub-element of the rest of the site. It's a smaller part of a greater whole. You can do a custom front page. You can even do a custom front page design and make your front page look immensely different from what the rest of your site looks like. Uh, even, even to the point where your inside pages look like your blog, but your outside page doesn't. So you've right. got full functionality and full flexibility with whatever you want to do there. Very cool. Is, are there any 
themes in particular that you really dig in WordPress right now? Uh, I, I'll be honest, I do write a lot of my own code. I am a designer and a developer, so I do write a lot of this stuff from scratch. Um, if there is a client that wants a theme that is a little more flexible and it's more customizable for them, um, then I will actually set them up with WooThemes Canvas theme. Uh, a lot of people compare it to something more on the lines of Genesis or Thesis or whatever. Yep. Uh, I like it because it is, uh, it's your theme. Once you buy it, you can do whatever you want with it. Use it on as many sites as you want. It's, it's great like that. But from a theme standpoint, a lot of the newer technologies that WordPress implements are already built in. Uh, so WordPress recently did with 3.1 their post formats. So if you're familiar with Tumblr, you know that you can do a picture that looks different than a video, that looks different than a post, uh, a regular post or a right. quote. And post formats allow you to basically transform your blog into a Tumblr blog and have, give you the opportunity to post your images, your video, your audio, do whatever, right. and look exactly like a, a Tumblr blog would. Even to the point of controlling what shows up and what links where and all that sort of stuff. Right. Um, so, you know, it, it, all that stuff is built into Canvas already, mm -hmm. uh, as well as being able to change fonts, change background colors, even some layout styles are there, even down to what page gets what sidebar widgets. Uh, wow. It's really customizable. What widgets are you finding to be really popular right now? A lot of people want to show their latest Twitter posts. Um, anything social, basically, to, yeah. to, to sort of lump it all up. Twitter posts, uh, Facebook profiles. Uh, I've seen some people that are wanting to do Foursquare check-ins. You know, where am I on Foursquare right now? Um, what are some of the innovative things that you're seeing? Uh, Instagram having released their, uh, their it, I know it hasn't been released yet, but they've got their private API that people are starting to hook into. And there are a lot of uh, Instagram plugins out there now that will let you pull your feed onto your sidebar and have a continuously updating sort of mini photo gallery that you control from your phone. Nice. So how did you get into you know, developing WordPress themes from scratch. Where did you learn this? <laughs> well, um, to be very honest, I actually have a degree in marketing and advertising. Okay. And when again, how did you learn this? <laughs> I'm from a. Sm I actually, you would look at me and you wouldn't be able to tell this. I grew up on a small farm in the middle of Kentucky, uh, literally about uh, a thousand people uh, in my part of town. Wait, wait, hold the presses. Did you just hear that? A thousand people? I thought I had the world record for the smallest town with 1,500 back yeah. in Maine. He just beat me. Yeah, I mean, me. there's there's one, there's one stoplight. Uh, it's a blinking oh, wait, wait. red light. Wait, wait, wait okay. I win this, lights. though. I win this, though. No stoplights in my hometown. All right, all right. There's, it's actually one of those blinking lights that's like yellow and, and <laughs> okay. So it's not a true stoplight. Um, so yeah, it's a really small town. And, and I ended up moving to Nashville because I realized that, you know, it just wasn't there as far as technology goes. And I wanted to be able to get out and not you know, go to the big city and see the world, but you know, <laughs> I wanted to be able to get out and, and do something you know, that was really cool. And while I was in, in high school, while I was in college, um, I went to a college that was very similar, very, very small college, about 20,000 students, uh, 30,000 in the whole town. I mean, it was really small. Uh, I was one of two people in my final class that had ever even seen Photoshop. Uh, much less Dreamweaver, and I mean nobody there. You know the CIS programs and the computer science stuff were all were all in that stuff, and they did a great job. But we were all advertising majors. You know, yeah. I was the only one that really had experience making it look pretty. So it was my job to make it look pretty, and they got to do all the hard research. I was a slacker college student. Of course, I took that deal. Absolutely right. <laughs> so I ended up getting into Nashville to take another job. Like I said, it fell through. But I realized Nashville has some really great print design shops. You've got people in the likes of Hatch Show Print yep. and all of these uh, different, you know, people that have been doing musician work and band yeah. photos yeah. and for, for years, you know, like tens of years, not just like a couple of years ago. And I realized, okay, you know, print design is great, but I want to be able to actually differentiate myself. Mm -hmm. So I really got into web development. Uh, I'd done it amateurishly through high school, through college, and I really wanted to get in and do web development uh, professionally because I saw that's where everything was headed. So how? How? I uh, honestly, it was just a lot of uh, a lot of trial and error. Uh, basically, did you get books. Were you reading online in forums? How did you learn? A lot of forums, okay. uh, and I was reading a few books here and there. Uh, but for the most part, it was basically me looking at a website and saying, "Okay, what what makes this website tick? You know, how is this website doing whatever it is?" And between the time that I did it in high school and the time I did it after college, uh, we had seen the advent of XHTML and CSS. So now form and function were being separated. You had RSS feeds coming into the picture. It was a completely different animal. And I wanted, I knew that it was the beginning of something, something great. And I wanted to jump in and start learning that before it got too far off the ground for me to really be able to jump in. So I was, you know, I was working with uh, CSS and HTML as early as I could. 
Uh, a lot of the browsers even then didn't support it all the way still. Now you've got Firefox 4 and, oh, yeah. and Chrome and all of those support everything like that natively now without yeah. question. Um, what browser do you use by default? I use Chrome on Linux as my default and then for development I use Firefox uh, because I have a lot of plugins that I use for devel the development side. Nice. Nice. So is business going well then? Business is, is very well. Um, nice. WordPress has 15% of the market share for all of the websites on the internet right now. Uh, and if you only look at the top 1,000, or uh, sorry, top million Alexa ranking blogs, right. that number only drops to about 12 to 11 percent. So there's a huge demand for someone that can take WordPress and not just do, oh, you know, do a pretty theme with it, but yeah. make it as user friendly as possible, make right. it search engine optimized, and be able to let people get in uh, and get out and get back to doing what they do best, which is running their business or blogging or whatever. Because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if we're having to fight with our blogging platform to write blog posts, What's the point, you know? Why, why are we even bothering having to fight with it when all we need to be able to do is get in, write what we're talking about, get out, and go back to living life, running our business, and having more stuff to blog about? So if we go to your site, <laughs> then what are we going to find? Uh, if you go to www.studionashvegas.com, uh, it's my company website. I say company, but I am my company, so it's my website. Um, you'll see personal photos of me. You'll see why I love WordPress as much as I do. Uh, you'll see a lot of WordPress tutorials, some articles on just general technology and social media and that sort of thing. Um, but ultimately, I hope people see something that, that shows that when it comes to WordPress, it doesn't have to look like a WordPress site. If you were to go to my website, you wouldn't be able to think, oh, well, that's WordPress. You'd right. say, oh, that's a really nice looking website. And, yeah. and that's the goal, you know? The end, obviously WordPress is a great platform, but at the end of the day, clients don't care how it's done. They want it done right and they want it to look nice. And my goal is to make WordPress work with business owners and bloggers to do just that. And I'm sure you've stopped by the WordPress booth here oh, yeah. at Blog World. I've gotten uh, probably two or three t-shirts and a lot of stickers <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, as you can see by my wardrobe, I like, I like the really fun tech t-shirt uh, <laughs> stuff, so. Nice. You need to check out a company called Nerdy Shirts. Nerdy Shirts? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right, Efren? NerdyShirts.com. Yeah. I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So glad to have you stop by. My pleasure. And we will see you hopefully at another you, conference. You can, you can go out with the hat. So. I, can't even, I can't even wear the hat. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely looks better on her than it does on me. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mitch. That was awesome. Mitch Cantor, make sure you check out, what is it called again? Uh, Studio, Studio Nash Vegas. Nash Vegas .com. I am going to be checking it out. Awesome. WordPress sites rock. <laughs>